Hey guys, it's Mouthful here once again, and it's about time to do the most overlooked and underappreciated skill in the past seven years, Spectral Throw. It is a skill that when it first came out, I absolutely loved, and uh, it had a lot of potential, and it was a really nice, strong, sort of well-tuned, well-balanced uh, ability at the time, but basically hasn't seen any change or any love in the past seven years or so, while so many other things got so many different reworks, buffs, revamps, etc., that um, this is just pretty lackluster in comparison. That said, I have thrown as much harvest as possible into a character to uh, try and make it kind of a build. It's a Pathfinder, just to utilize all of the uh, juicy flask buffs as well as some um, penetration and then we're going pure fizz into elemental convert with a heist base that lets us do a random element with every hit and thus utilizing Trinity as well. So we are basically as powerful as a spectral throw would let us become in the past few years, I think. And uh, it doesn't feel too bad. It's certainly not terrific in many situations. And you might, almost certainly, not just might, um, get way more value out of playing a different skill. Something like a blade storm, a blade flurry, um, yeah, something like that, because uh, it's just going to have much better scaling. That said, our clear speed has been pretty damn good at this level of um, DPS and gear. Just being able to like shoot a few buzzsaws and melt through everything has actually been pretty fast. I have gotten to level 90, 91, something like that, in 13 hours, while also finishing all Conquerors and Cirrus, which is pretty damn fast for my own standards, uh, just because we've been leveling pretty quickly through the maps, and it's been pretty smooth. That said, there are still problems with Spectral Throw. It's just too difficult to do what you want to do with it. I guess, is what you want to say. Like, you can do your AoE, or you can do your single target, but you pretty much have to go out of your way to change things to do either one. If we're in our current uh, setup with all of these projectiles, the AoE really um, sort of shines, but we don't have very good single target at all. Like, we're half of our potential single target, maybe a third or some shit like that, and uh, Val ST carries us hard, but you certainly can't just jump into a boss and feel good. Uh, and then once you go into your pure single target setup, you really can't clear for shit, and you really can't um, do multiple things at once. It's very one-on-one -on -one type action, and you might even have to spec a bit more for it to be more single target. So as you can see, the single target at this point isn't too bad once we're full single target, because you're going into slow proj, uh, and You've only got one projectile, you have very limited range on that projectile, and you have to really line up the apex of your spectral throws so there's maximum overlap at the end of the um, cast, which is hard to do on so many fights. And even then, when it does happen, the DPS isn't anything too special. It's kind of lackluster for what I've put into the character, and uh, it's just a bit disappointing. Like, I have at this point done everything, um, or most things, haven't done Maven, haven't done a few other, you know, tanky stuff, and we'll have that in another video, but um, it still hasn't felt quite as good as you would have expected, as I would have hoped. I would have definitely gotten more bang for my buck out of many different other things, and uh, the play style on single target, as you can see when there's multiple targets, gets pretty damn uncomfortable. Uh, since you're only hitting one or two at a time, you kind of want to use a Dying Sun, but then that's going to nerf our DPS. Maybe I'll still try it out. You kind of want the uh, alternate quality that gives you an additional projectile, but then once again, that will uh, not give you Vile ST or be very expensive to put together once again. So, it's got its problems. It's still pretty fun. It isn't going to be cheap to put together and to uh, enjoy properly. Uh, for the most part, it's just a big weapon at this stage, and then you have to abuse Trinity. Um, but it's it's still a bit of something. I would have loved to see a much more um, budget one come together, or at least at this budget it do a lot more than it currently does to justify such a cost. But um, is what it is. The 
goal of the character was to make a working spectral throw did do that but uh, it's not necessarily something I can extremely recommend or be very happy with as a uh, current balance situation either way I will probably try out some other skills and then maybe showcase some of that in the next video and for now I'll show you how I put the character together and how we're going so here is our character level 91 Pathfinder buzzsaw still works copium um, you know just trying to lie to myself and I've tried to build it fairly well rounded fairly balanced kind of thick uh, to the point where I can stand still and I can get those close range uh, slower projectile spectral throws off and uh, as you can see that my um, weapon it's pretty damn good and uh, we kind of just got lucky crafting it by doing some alt regals I think I hit like a good flaring plus something and then I removed suffix to add prefix with a beast and happened to get conquerors so from there had to do a bit of harvest to do the speed since I had a couple of add remove speeds and uh, turns out we can have like a 560 DPS spirit blade which is one of the better ones on the server um, so what you're looking for is essentially 500 DPS maybe 450 plus to make something like this not too shit and those aren't that hard to get but to um, make one this good you're gonna get you know quite lucky to be um, making one like this uh, but the idea is good attack speed good fizz and the hundred fizz from hits converted to a random element so every single time we're attacking we are um, maximizing a different element and thus Trinity is working because um, it requires you to kind of alternate through your DPS and I do currently have a lot of all of the elements so some lightning cold fire thanks to some fizzes extra uh, damage mods but when this procs the highest one will always be a different element so that's how Trinity works in our setup and our current setup is spectral throw with the Val version because Val does do quite a lot for a bit of extra clear speed and burst single target damage uh, you then have GMP you really need that for clear uh, inspiration early damage with attacks Trinity which is a big hard carry in the build and then uh, then vicious proj but awakened version since we start out with all fizz damage this is um, still going to do a lot of extra damage and then when we go single target we put on slow proj instead of GMP and we become pretty small on the projectile but uh, really maximize our damage we need to go even smaller for single target and that is these nodes here but uh super uncomfortable with spec into them I haven't done that yet but you know if we want to maximize we probably have to do that we'll see how that goes uh, but this is what the projectile speed looks like basically specking into nothing so it's not too bad at this point but um you could spec into more for more clear speed and uh, we're utilizing the same chess piece from the wild strike berserker so a uh, bunch of life a bit of extra crit I do still have that additional curse I wasn't planning on redoing it uh, on this character I wanted to use mark of the elder plus a just assassin mark but since I've still got that I may as well just do the same thing to um, assassin mark and uh, early weakness curse rings and probably a better option than the mark of the elder ring but I wanted to make use of mark of the elder and if you can't get additional curse you can still try that uh, besides that the gear well we got the 30% reduced spectral throw deceleration enchant so what that should do is make the blades spin at their apex just a little bit longer so that won't um, hit like three times anymore at, the, at its apex for uh, an enemy or hit like four times for example uh, so it's pretty good for single target should be pretty good for single target uh, crafted my own shield that has percent damage per block chance um, just for a bit of extra damage but I am building somewhat heavy into block I got like 57 block I think um, belt with some life reduced flask so hunter belt just using like pristine fossils or harvest sort of life rolls uh, a pair of gloves from before some tailwind boots that do nothing but tailwind really but the enchant is pretty damn good and then I made a whole new amulet for this character because we had an amulet from the other one which was this one here uh, pretty good stuff but I didn't really need the dexterity and I needed a bit more strength in it so I did go ahead and smash another one together so you grab one shaper amulet with um, Ellie's cold one crusader amulet Ellie as lightning smash them together 
and uh, then reroll suffixes with harvest as often as you need until you hit some good shit. So I rerolled suffixes on this a couple times and happened to get some crit multi, which is basically all we're looking for as a suffix. And then you can craft life as a prefix. So uh, basically the only really big items on this character are this and this. Um, because everything else is pretty manageable, you know, you'll make all of that stuff just by playing the game and harvesting and all that. Chests, like like we've gone over, chests are very easy to make. Um, it just takes a bit of time and investment. But that said, it's all a pretty finely tuned machine and it's still a little bit lackluster of a skill, I think, anyway. The passive tree has just gone through some block nodes, some crit, some LE, some shield, some block, all of that stuff. We've got some um, as good as we can get jewels. So you can only get crit multi uh, on a jewel for one hand melee weapons and global. And we are very low on multi. So I tried to get as much as possible here. Uh, attack speed and then proj damage. Um, they're pretty damn cheap. I think that was like fucking two chaos or something. Hilariously enough. Um, likewise with this thing, uh, attack speed, early res, multi proj damage. Attack speed, attack speed, proj damage, and crit multi. We're then using a cluster jewel for uh, shields, which does bit of mana leech and crit and crit multi for if you've blocked recently for shields. Um, likewise, with the crit ones, we're just using um, precise retaliation twice and then pressure points twice. So I've tried to kind of fine tune for as much damage as possible. Got a uh, precision crit multi watches eye here as well. Uh, those aren't too expensive at the moment, and they're not that good for our build. They're about as good as a regular one of these. Um, and then, yeah, like I mentioned, tried to min-max for some um, sort of damage while still being relatively tanky and had to spend a bit of money to do that. The first two points are definitely these. These feel insane. That Pathfinder's like main draw for me, I think. Bit of extra damage, early pen, and then all of that flask charge juice back. You're then going towards these to become tankier and have flask spam and then immunity to um, ailments and then a bit of extra speed. The Pathfinder just feels amazing because you can chug flasks, they'll come back and uh, it will, you know, be good sustain for boss fights. Of course, people really want to do raiders and stuff. You can as well, but uh, I think flask finder is just a bit nicer for something like this. Still got a bunch of free sockets, haven't finished that off. Um, not going to do a lot for our build though. Maybe if we went into a perforate, a blade storm, a blade flurry, we can start filling out some of those sockets with, you know, war chiefs and shit like that. But for now, I think that's how I'm going to build the character and um, how I'm going to leave Spectral Throw, give it a few more end game fights and all that, but then try out some uh, other skills and see if we can build a slightly beefier character to pass on to you as well. So. That'll do. Thank you very much for watching for now and see you next time.